Red Carnation Hotels began as a love story, a journey that began over 60 years ago and it has lasted a lifetime. At the heart of this story is our founder and our president, Beatrice Tolman. It all began back in the early 50s when a beautiful young South African woman named Bee, my mother, caught the eye of a distinguished hotelier named Stanley, who always wore a miniature red carnation flower in his lapel. In the summer of 1952, my parents took a road trip to Durban and my father invited my mother for dinner at the famed Oyster Box Hotel. My mother tasted an oyster for the first time and spat it out at the table. This must have left a great impression on my father because on the 7th of March 1954, my parents were married and the wedding reception was held at the Carlton Hotel in Johannesburg. As newlyweds of modest beginnings, my parents shared a love and a passion for world-class hospitality, exquisite style, fine cuisine and grand architecture, which set the foundations and the building blocks for a lifelong and successful career in hospitality. They started their dream and leased a small property in Johannesburg and called it the Nugget Hotel, where my father focused on front of house while my mother was responsible for all the food coming out of the kitchen. Soon after that, they bought their second property, which was the Hyde Park Hotel, where the glamorous colony restaurant was created. It was the first boutique hotel of its kind to offer elegant cuisine, supper club ambience with dining, dancing, and it had the most famous international cabaret stars of the time perform there. My mother found herself in the kitchen in the most famous hotel and restaurant and the only female head chef in South Africa. My parents became the most famous hoteliers in the country with the very first collection of boutique hotels. But in 1975, due to the unacceptable political situation in South Africa, we moved to London, where the next chapter of their story unfolds. In 1984, they bought the Chesterfield Hotel in prestigious Mayfair, and my mother decided to call the company Red Carnation Hotels, after the signature flower my father always wore. Since then, it has been a remarkable journey, which many of you have been part of. In 2006, my parents bought the Oyster Box Hotel in Durban, South Africa, the very place where they shared their first dinner together back in 1952. In 2009, driven by my mother's lifelong love affair with the world of hospitality and cooking, she decided to publish A Life in Food, a book of her all-time favorite recipes hugely popular in all the hotels and recognized as delicious comfort food. It has always been my mother's belief that most people when staying in hotels want good value, delicious and satisfying food. Three years later, my mother was awarded the prestigious accolade of Hotelier of the Year at the 2012 European Hospitality Awards a reflection of her ongoing dedication and passion and applauded by guests and industry alike. In May 2013, the biggest jewel to the Red Carnation crown was added with the magnificent Ashford Castle. And a major refurbishment was soon underway to bring the castle back to its former glory. It has since been voted the best hotel in the world and we're all so proud of this incredible achievement. In 2016, my mother received the Hotel Katie's Lifetime Achievement Award and was named Leading Legend by the Leading Hotels of the World. 
Today, we stand at 17 luxurious properties with worldwide recognition for being the very best. The latest list of accolades for Red Carnation Hotels is just remarkable.